It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Tuesday, the 24th of May. I'm Michael Groff. Dry conditions, temperatures continue to heat up for the rest of the week, but then a gradual cooling trend will start to take place as we head into the Memorial Day weekend. And by Monday or Tuesday, highs should return back towards seasonal averages and then some degree of forecast uncertainty beyond that. And I know we're just at the beginning of the long, hot summer. We hate the heat, at least most of us do. But at least we're not dealing with a situation like this. This is some of the damage caused by an EF3 tornado that came through Gaylord, Michigan on Friday. And obviously the video speaks for itself. That's significant damage. Here in Arizona, we very rarely see tornadoes, although many of you probably don't know, we do average five tornadoes per year across the state although rarely do they exceed EF0 in intensity. And this is probably the time to talk about severe weather or tornado safety now that we're in the dry season. Again, even though tornadoes are rare, when I was watching the video coverage of that uh, tornado rolling through Gaylord on Friday, I saw a number of people still out and about in their cars, driving around like it's no big deal, just out there gazing at a tornado. When you are under a tornado warning, it's just so important that you get inside, get into an interior room, closet, bathroom, protect your head, have a bicycle helmet, stay away from windows. You want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. You never want to be in a car or a mobile home. Those are death traps in tornadoes. So again, interior room, lowest floor. If you have a basement, great. Most of us here in Arizona don't. And even for severe thunderstorm warnings, we like people to get inside when the thunder roars, go indoors, as they say. So some things to think about as our monsoon season is still several weeks away, but always good to be prepared. All right, let's get into it here. Taking a look at the almanac from yesterday, 97 degrees, the afternoon high 69 was the morning low, the normal high 97 and the normal low 72. And as we look outside right now at 915 a.m., wall to wall sunshine, we're sitting at 82 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 34, relative humidity 17%, the winds are light, and the barometer is steady. The upper air look this morning shows a ridge is building in from the west. We have a dry northwesterly flow here today, and the main storm track is going to stay far away from us for the foreseeable future, so temperatures will continue to climb. The watch warning map, of course, we still have red flag warnings out here across the southwest. An air quality alert once again in effect for Maricopa and Pinal County. So all of you respiratory sufferers might want to take it easy, especially during the afternoon and evening hours today. The convective outlook for today, we've got that enhanced risk of severe storms, level three out of five for places like Dallas, Fort Worth, over to Plano, Texas. The broader severe weather risk from West Texas all the way through the deep south with a cold front stretched out there. And here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. No cold fronts or anything to worry about around here. No rain in the valley, nothing statewide, nothing region-wide. This weather pattern not going to change very much, although a small, and I mean small, cooling trend is coming our way as we get to the weekend and early next week. We'll talk about what's going on with this weather pattern in more detail as we get to the models. Have a look at it. This is the GFS, the 06Z run. This is valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. We've got a trough going into the Plain States today. That's where that focus for severe storms will be. But for us, on the backside of that, a ridge is building in a dry northwesterly flow in place. So down at the surface, what you see is what you get. Sunny sky, dry conditions, high temperatures, I'd say upper 90s to around 100 for us here in Phoenix today. Tonight, clear sky, overnight lows in the 60s to low 70s or so. And then tomorrow, sunny, warmer, highs upper 90s to around 103. The ridge continues to build in for Thursday and Friday. Sunny sky and just plain old hot. Highs 102 to 106. On Saturday, moving into the Memorial Day holiday weekend, a trough beginning to develop over the Pacific Northwest. Our ridge will gradually get eroded. Heights coming down very slowly. So temperatures fall off a couple of degrees for Saturday. Highs 100 to 104. Another couple of degrees of cooling, if you want to call it that, on Sunday. Upper 90s to around 102. Monday, sunny sky. Highs mid-90s to around 100. And about the only sensible weather we're going to see is some breeziness today and then some afternoon breezes once again, maybe Saturday and throughout the Memorial Day weekend at times, but nothing significant there. Here's a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 31st of May, and we've got a little short wave passing by to the north of us. Some breezy conditions at times. Temperatures probably in the upper 90s, maybe close to 100. 
Then as we go out 10 days, this is Thursday, the 2nd of June, and the GFS shows a decent trough out here across the west. The height's below average, so this could result in breezy conditions and temperatures a little bit below normal. But in that configuration, we are unlikely to see any significant moisture and certainly no real chance of rain. Speaking of, looking at rainfall for Phoenix, this is going out through the 7th of June. This is coming off of the GFS Ensemble. It's got 31 members. There are four that indicate some degree of extremely light precipitation. So once again, as you've been hearing me say for weeks now, no significant chances of meaningful precipitation anytime soon. And temperatures off the National Blend of Models staying at or above normal on most days throughout the forecast period. And that should just about do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And music fans, yeah, of course, you're going to want to check out my streaming station. It's called KMGX. We play a ton of music. We have a lot of fun with that. And it's myself and the one and only Michelle that program and operate that station. It's a two-man show. Well, a one-man one woman show and you get to hear our voices and the most chaotic mix of music that you have ever heard in your entire life but you will love it unless you don't all right thank you so much for watching all of your continued support it is so greatly appreciated you guys be safe stay cool stay hydrated out there have yourselves a phenomenal tuesday